Hi, this is Stan. Welcome back to just a tiny little piece of the Erie Lackawanna Railroad. Well, looks like there's some clouds rolling in. Well, it's been a while since I've given you an update here on my HO Railroad, but today something really special. I asked an artist friend of my daughter's, Michelle, if she would be willing to come and paint some clouds on the bare walls here on my layout. They've just been blue walls. Here you can see just nothing but kind of bedroom blue on the wall. But Michelle's an artist and she's an art teacher and she agreed to come through and spend the afternoon painting some clouds on the walls behind my layout. Plus, she's going to show us her technique and give us some encouragement as to how we might be able to do our own DIY clouds. So this is going to be really cool. So here's another look at the layout. This time you see the wall is not blank. It actually has some beautiful clouds in there. The layout is kind of reminiscent of my childhood in the northern Pennsylvania, southern New York area. And I am so lucky. I have Michelle here with me. She's an artist and an art teacher. And she agreed to come over and paint some clouds on the boring blue walls here on my layout. So there's some folks watching who would love to try to do some background painting themselves. So could you kind of walk us through how we could do it? We're not artists, but give us an idea of how we might be able to pull off doing some clouds on, on our own layouts. Well, I'm using just regular acrylic paint that I got from the art supply store. You can get it at Michael's or Joann's. And with that, I'm using a matte um, extender. So it's eight or nine bucks for a small tube and that helps keep your paint fluid so that it doesn't just dry as soon as you hit the wall. And that helps them colors mix together. You can spread it, you can make it a little thinner, um, and it works great for clouds. Uh, using just black and white you can get many shades of gray that help create depth in those clouds. And mostly what I'm trying to do is get kind of the gray on the bottom and as it kind of goes up a little bit lighter gray and then outline the top where the sun would hit the clouds with the whitest of the white. And trust in your free hand because if you overthink it you'll never be happy. So if you go in and you're just kind of putting in some swirls, keep it light, keep it loose, not too thick because you can always darken it up. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here Michelle. Right. Oh I see. Okay you're so, kind of swirling it around. Kind of swirling it and you can see where it can get darker and lighter you can go in with different shades of gray to create depth. Keep it nice and light. And when I say trust in your, uh, your just your free hand, just kind of let it go. There's no right way to make a cloud, you know? Bob Ross is a genius. Uh, but just trust in yourself. Don't overwork it. When you like it, walk away from it. And you can always go back in and hit it with some lighter stuff later for more highlights, if you want. The dry brush technique is just that. You've got a dry brush. It's not wet at all. When your paint is still moist, you can lightly kind of pull your paint. And that's going to give it kind of that swoopy, whoosh kind of look. And you can go in and tidy that up or darken it or add more anytime you want. But keep your brush dry because you don't want to water down the paint. What, do you wipe it off after you smoosh it like that or you just... Well, it depends. You can if you want it lighter. You can just go in and doctor it up a little bit. Uh, you can see over here, I did a little on the edge. Let me back up so we're looking mm -hmm. at it. Oh, okay. Just a little over here. This guy's a little dry brush technique. So it just gives it that light whoosh. Sure, sure. That's a technical a, term. Of course, especially on a layout like this, although it's really awkward <laughs> to, to paint on the wall because we're away from the wall, it's not very far away. So 
really, you don't want to have a, a feeling that that cloud is in your face, right? You want it to sort of fit in the scale. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So try different sizes too. The smaller your cloud is, the further away it's going to appear. The more detail in something, the closer it's going to appear. So keep it real general and real light if you want it to disappear into the background. Gotcha. Now, this was already painted blue. I just was sort of a generic blue. What, if someone hasn't painted their backdrop yet, what would be an, a typical color hue that you might want for a general blue background or a sky before you put anything on it like clouds well you have a lovely blue here it's nice and light it's not overbearing or overpowering where it's going to take on most of the attention so i think you've made a great choice with this really light kind of a baby blue a pastel blue okay i think that works great you never know how the colors are going to come out on the video and then by the time they hit youtube it, it could be completely different absolutely but this so is so great. So we should go ahead. We should feel confident and trust yourself. Really, don't don't think about it too much. Feel free to go with it and and really just trust what you do, what you put down the first time around. Don't overthink it. Now I see you have a really expensive looking palette there. Oh yeah. Is uh, that a Chinese food dinner lid? Or? It is. It is absolutely. Because the great thing about acrylics is when this dries, I can peel this all off, and you won't even be able to tell. Of course, I won't use it for food again. But um, it's great. Uh, and I've got my black over here, my white, and my different shades of gray as you work it through here. So, yeah. But that's one of the also things, that, the good thing about using one of those extenders is that uh, this will stay moist for a long time. If you don't use that extender in your paint, this dries fairly quickly, especially in dry climates. Well, that, and that's our climate. Okay, Michelle, so I see three tubes over here. Yep. So what are we talking about? Here? All right, so we've got white acrylic black acrylic and this is your acrylic medium and I got a matte medium uh, to go with a nice matte or a satin wall I think uh, the gloss medium is great but it's gonna make everything look really shiny and that kinda eats away at some of your depth so the matte medium this bottle is a small bottle so I got this at Michaels and these I got at my local uh, Jerry's Artorama store and so black and white. You didn't... Black and white. So you can make every shade of gray you need in between there with just those two tubes of paint. And if you wanted to add a little blue, you could get a light blue, mix it with some white. That'll give you some baby blue. Depends on how colorful you want your clouds. Gotcha. And then this stuff, of course, being acrylic, it, it's not like oils. It dries. Correctly. Correct. It will dry quickly and it will stay exactly what it looks like. So there you did a whole bunch of gray first, like a cloud image in gray, and then you're going back in over it with white. Yeah, trying to lay the bottom and the shadows and then pick up lighter highlights as I go, gotcha. finishing with the white, whitest white, and the tips are where the sun would kiss it. So different sizes too, Michelle? Mm -hmm. You don't want all the same size clouds, right? No, then it looks really fake. So smaller they are, the more obscure, kind of hazy, hard to see, they're going to look far, further away. And dark colors recede back into the background. Light colors look like they're coming forward. So darker clouds will look a little further away or deeper in the shadows. Your highlights are going to look more forward. Well, Michelle, I'm going to stop pestering you now, but I can't thank you enough. This is just so wonderful, and it's going to add so much to the background. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to practice some of my skills. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you so much, Michelle. Really appreciate it. Love the clouds. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've got a little encouragement to maybe paint some clouds on your layout. I'll see you right here next time.